Oh, you're ready to get your own back now, are you? Don't do it, don't do it. Move it back. Camera's all good, yeah, in the back. Already are, that was you, sir. Thank you. Okay, very well bowled. Thanks. How did it feel to be back in an England shirt and back in Ashes cricket? Amazing. Um, yeah, incredible feeling, uh, especially to get five wickets. And, you know, I was just saying before, my mum and dad were here, so to be able to raise the ball in them, it's the first time they've seen us get five wickets, so pretty special moment. Um, Ashes cricket in general, I think, you know, you always want to be a part of it. And um, to, I was chomping at the bit a couple of games ago and I finally get in now, I'm really, really happy. Can you tell us about your, your belated entry into the series? So you said that, you know, you were a bit honest, maybe you felt like you couldn't produce that all the way through last last week. Yeah. Have, you been, have you been desperate to get into this series or do you feel like now was the right time? No, obviously before would have been better, but you know, this is that's just the way it was. Um had a bit of swelling around my elbow. Um the chat was could I get through um a full match? Um we weren't quite sure that my elbow would hold up. An extra week has certainly helped that and I felt um leading into the game I was in really good rhythm, had a good snap. Um, when I was bowling and I was yeah ready to go and chomping a bit obviously a little bit of nerves flying around um, my record isn't great in England um, but the thing that I'm most pleased about today is I managed to move the ball so um, to be able to you know put good speed up there but also to, to move the ball I feel that's what got me the wickets um, the top players in the world they all play fast bowling well um, you know Australia I've got some of the best batsmen so the thing that I think really got us the way today was was that movement. What does it feel like? I think you was the, the spell today, the first spell was the second fastest ever spell that we've got on record in England. The first belongs to you also. What does it feel like when you're in that rhythm and, and the ball's just coming out as, as quick as you can get it? Uh, disappointing that it wasn't the first. Um, <laughs> I think, you know, to have two, two of them is, is great, but um, keep wanting to get better and push, push, push and um, make sure that you know, I can bowl even faster. Now, do you want to go? Or? Uh, I can just uh, ask about the contest, but the two outstanding players today, obviously, there was you, there was Mitch Marsh. Can you just talk about the battle with him? Well, he, he won it um, against me. Um, I certainly feel like, you know, his knock was, was pretty special um, on a wicket where it was, it was pretty tough. He made us feel as a bowling group that things had completely changed. The ball was soft, the wicket had gone flat. Um, and you know it was a great time for Wokes to get that wicket it was looking like the game as, which has happened all series has flown one way with momentum then it's gone back the other way and he was certainly you know on song today um, difficult to bowl at and you know from a from our point of view we'll have to come up with a, a way of you know combating that second innings because he was really impressive We've got Will, Matt um, Dan and then Mike Woody, a couple of times that your speed kind of flashed up on the screen and the crowd in Western Terrace or wherever else got pretty excited by that. Can you give us a feel of what that feels like as a as a fast bowler? Uh, especially at home. <laughs> <laughs> no water? No. Woohoo! <laughs> Do, does it kind of get your tail up a little bit more? Yeah, of course. Like when the crowd's singing your song and when they're cheering when you're bowling fast and, you know, um, it was a great battle with Marnus again. Um, another one where... I, he, you know, I couldn't get him out, but I felt threatening and felt like it was a, it was one of them where I was searching and keep, keep trying and trying and trying, but he got through it again. Um, and there's been some, you know, since Australia, I feel me and him have had some great battles. Um, and I, I, that first spell in particular, I, I, I knew that I, I had good rhythm and I was bowling fast, and um, there was good zip out the wicket. Um, it felt very different from the other end, 
bizarrely at Hedney, and that's often the case. Um, Hedney, you run down the hill, and then there's a little lip from from this end, and the other end, my my jump was on the lip, so it felt like I was just jumping straight up. Um, but that that first spell in particular, I felt um, that's as good as I felt in at home in an England shirt. Matt, go ahead. Woody, what does the body feel like when you? Going that quickly, does it hurt? Do you feel like you're just cruising and flying? No, nah, it doesn't. Nah, um, no, no more than naturally bowling would would hurt, or would it just um, it just feels like you, you've got all this like energy surge and it, it's about of you know you're about to let it fly, and that's how it felt. I knew Stokes; he was really clear with us before the game. I'm um, not bothered about how many runs I go for. Just literally wanting this to bowl fast in short spells and try and make something happen, be, be as attacking as I could. Obviously, the, the series were 2 0 down. We're looking for wickets. We're looking to try and impact the game. We're looking to try and, um, you know, get, get ahead in the match. But um, Mitch Marsh certainly pulled it back for Australia. And then we managed to drag it back again. And the, the game where we're at the minute certainly feels very similar to our innings where you think, right, we're a couple of weeks away here from, you know, really getting stuck into them. But um, that sort of partnership that him and Travis Head had sort of dragged it back. And I think if the sun's out tomorrow and we can bat well, we can really pull the game in our favour. Dan and Mike. And G'day, Mark. Um, G'day. Just a, a question about, you mentioned about moving the ball. Like, it seemed... Uh, even in warm-ups this morning, it, it looked like it was it was curving a bit for you. Did that sort of give you a bit of encouragement that you that you could sort of pose some questions of, of of their top players today because you were moving it? And I guess have you worked much on that between I guess the last Ashes series and this one, or was it just you know, uh, no? Other the last Ashes series in Australia, I worked probably more on wobble team. Um, in this series, um, because the conditions were and the the breeze was going that way, I felt that it would suit my or try and move the ball with swing. Um, I think the top bowlers, Anderson, um, Broaden and Wokes and RT, Robinson, they can go to swing and wobble seem quite at will. That's not really my strength. My strength's been to, to try and bowl fast. I think, you know, knowing, like you say, in warm-ups that the ball was moving and I was getting it to move, I thought, you know, if I put the ball in the right area and I, and I get it to move, that'll certainly help my case. Um, I wouldn't say I, I set out before the game to think, if, I, if I'm hooping it like this, I'm going to get five wickets. I, I didn't think that at all. I just thought, you know, if I can, you know, have that shape, it gives me a better chance against the top players. Mike Walters, David Charles with John, and then we'll finish with Louis. Uh, well, Bold, your fastest ball was timed at 96.5 miles an hour. Do you think Harmy is relieved you didn't put another 0.3 on it because I think his fastest ball was 96.8? And yeah. It's a sort of it's it's a sort of mythical figure, but do you think a hundred miles an hour is possible with no, a good I, wind behind you? No, nah, I don't think that would be, have to be pretty strong wind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think you know, great that that Harmy was was here. Um, I saw him in the stand, and um, to be able to sort of lean on him and and even just see him, you know, gives me a, a bit of a boost. Um, he was texting me last night and, and wishing me well and um, making sure that I, you know, give myself 10 seconds before I bowl and um, a few pointers and a few tips. Obviously, he's been in the pressure cooker of an Ashes um, and one where, personally, I, I haven't done that well in this country. So to, you know, before the game, there was a few nerves flying around because I have felt for a while I've got a point to prove here. Um, all my good stuff's happened away from home, so to be able to finally do it at home was a was a massive relief. And just throwing the stat your way, um, your average speed over the innings was the best since Brett Lee in 2005 in the Ashes series. So it's a great to hear your name alongside someone like Brett Lee. Absolutely, he's a legend. So um, to to even be amongst that, um, I'd rather have his wickets like, but to be to be amongst that is, is you know it's a great feeling, um, and someone that you know certainly when I was growing up, you. You know, you look up to these players and you think that they're, you know, amazing. You would love to emulate them and things like that. So, to be able to put my speeds against his is is a great feeling. But um, hopefully, I can get closer to his wickets column because he's obviously a top bowler. We touched on it before, but how frustrating has it been introduced at two 0 down in the series? That it's not frustrating. I, I, that's not. It, it's the way it was. It, obviously, I'd love to have played earlier, but I can't help that or can't affect it. I was fit for the first game um, and the, the, the team selection went the other way. That's sport, international sport, and I can accept that. Second game, I was in the mix, but 
me and the captain felt I wasn't there. So I'm not frustrated. It's just the it's just the way that it was, um, and the only thing I can do now is try and contribute to the rest. So what is John, and then we'll finish with Louis in the top corner. Is that right? Yeah, I was going to ask about the the hundred if that's possible, but but you still think you can you can get quicker from what you said earlier? Yeah, I, I think the last couple of years has proved that. Um, maybe it's my average pace could be quicker. Um, you know, I've come in off the back in the, into this game off the back of four of our spells, so I haven't actually played a lot of Test match cricket. I'm pretty pleased that I didn't have to bowl more than twelve. Twelve hours was it? Twelve. Twelve overs. So I'm pretty pleased that. You know, from my body point of view, I mean, I was, I was ready to give it my all throughout, but f to be able to keep my pace up, to, to be able to just bowl 12 overs, I mean, that hopefully stands us in good stead for the second innings. It's not easy coming off the back of no bowling, but at the same time, it's a fine margin with me because then if I bowl a lot, I could get injured. So um, I've come in fresh and it's been a good day to day, but again, I don't want to get ahead of myself. There's loads to go in the, in the game. Got to again prove it second innings because the, the series is on the line. Louis, go ahead. Mark, Mark I just wanted to ask about the drop catches you guys had today. You, you've obviously got Joe and Johnny in at the crease now. I think maybe put four uh, down between them. Is there a sense from those two that they want to pay the team back a little bit? Or uh, No, I'd, well, they haven't said that. Um, and, and we certainly as a group don't feel that they need to. Obviously, they work really hard in training. We see that work that they put in. It, of course, it's disappointing when, when catches go down, but um, it can't be helped. As soon as they go down, move on. We know they're trying their best um, and that they're you know, trying to do uh, us a favour by catching them. So as long as we can put... I mean, of course, the, the two that went down, um, Head and Marsh, they would have been big wickets at the time. They know that, they accept that, they're international sportsmen, but we know how it goes. Great. Cheers, Woody. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Thanks, Danny.